It's time for a brand new episode of the Geeky Amriki Trailer Recut, but this time we're going mad. <laughs> That's right, people. This time, I will be doing four recuts for all of the movies in the Mad Max franchise. Now, if you haven't seen one of my trailer recut episodes before, I have a specific set of rules that I have given myself to make things much more difficult. <laughs> okay, that's not really why. I do this show to help keep my editing skills sharp and to show what trailers should look like, all right? They should be shorter. They shouldn't show so much of the movie. Most trailers now are up to four minutes long and they show pretty much the whole movie. If you have any type of intuition or you speak that film language, you recognize all of these things in the trailer and it basically gives everything away even if they were trying not to. So my goal with the trailer recuts is to show again what trailers should look like and maybe these movies you haven't seen and you're curious about watching them but you don't want them spoiled. So I do these trailers to let you know why you should watch them without giving everything away now there are a few rules that i have like i said uh, i download the original trailer in hd then i pick a song that i think goes really well with it but gives it a different feel than the original trailer did usually something funky and much more my tastes then i have to take that song and edit it down to like one one and a half minutes at the most and then of course i take that original trailer and i trim it up to fit that song after I've done that, I'll color grade it to make it look more cohesive, and then I'll make it look like old film stock. And that's how the Geeky Amriki trailer recut works. So, like I said, this time we're doing Mad Max. Let's go ahead and start with the first movie. A lot of people say that this is the weakest link in the franchise, and I very much disagree. I think this is a fantastic movie. It is very different than the later films, but it does have some cool action scenes. It does have great characters. It really gives you insight onto who Max is and why he has the issues that he does throughout the rest of the franchise. So with all that being said, here is my recut for the first Mad Max movie. Everybody knows that The Road Warrior is pretty much a perfect movie. It has great characters, it has a great story, it's got really good pacing, there are some of the best driving action sequences in film history. It's just amazing, and what's so sad is I know so many people who've seen Fury Road, but they've never seen The Road Warrior. They didn't even realize there were three Mad Max movies before Fury Road. Now, of course, Road Warrior is much more action-packed than the original film. This one focuses a lot more on the other characters than it does on Max. This is kind of where it changed and it was more about the world and what Max was trying to accomplish in it and how he was just trying to survive. But that's enough about the movie. I don't want to spoil anything. So check out my recut for The Road Warrior.
<sighs> Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. This is by far the weakest link in the franchise. It's still good, it's just a little weird. All right. I've heard people say that this is like the Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull of the Mad Max franchise. It's not nearly that bad. This is more like the Temple of Doom of the Mad Max franchise. I think Tina Turner was a great antagonist. I think the movie overall, it definitely tells a story and it's definitely about everybody else, not so much Max. So enough preamble for Thunderdome, let's get to it. Now admittedly, this trailer was already perfect. There was nothing that I would change about the Mad Max Fury Road trailer that they unveiled at Comic-Con. It really blew people's minds and got them excited for the franchise again. People like me who had been waiting for a sequel for a long time were really, really unsure about what this thing was going to be. But when this trailer came out, man, it was a return to form and it made us feel that old school practical effects vibe. It does have a lot of CGI, but it uses it very well. Now, like I said, this trailer was already perfect. It showed a bunch of footage, but it really doesn't show you anything about the story of the movie. You just know that there are cars and explosions and a bunch of really strong female characters. Max is in there somewhere, kind of like the movie. But of course, I had to do an edit myself to go with the theme of the episode. Let's check out my recut for Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> So if you've seen Fury Road but none of the other movies or you haven't seen any of the Mad Max movies I highly recommend that you do. This is one of the best franchises ever made. I can't wait for the Furiosa prequel which is going full steam ahead and then after that there's another Mad Max movie starring Tom Hardy. So if you're a Mad Max fan we got a lot in store for us. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Until then stay shiny and chrome.